All right, welcome back to another portfolio update. Uh, the market is still open. We have about another hour and two minutes. So as you can see, we are down 93 right now for the week, up 786. One month, 1976. Three months, 4,031. Year to date, uh, 5337, 11%. Uh, one year mark seven thousand, and uh, overall up seventeen thousand seven forty nine at almost fifty percent. So if you guys have been following for a while, um, or if you're new, I'm going to give you a little breakdown. So um, if you guys want to know, if you're recently actually, I did add margin to this account. So right now we are using 29,000 in collateral. I still have another 30,000. So what Robinhood gives you is about 50% of your, not 50%, actually 100% of what you have in your account. So my account is worth right now 53,800. So I have another like 50 some thousand in um, margin. So. Just so you guys know, that's what, um, just to kind of give you an update on what's going on. So I do have a lot of options going on as well and dividends. So um, I'll give you guys a rundown. So we have uh, some options expiring today. Today is uh, June 14th. So we have a $25 GME put right there. It's going to expire. Uh, we also have the GME call, which is out of the money. I mean, it's a hundred bucks. So that's going to expire. And AMC is going to expire, and that's it. And for next week, I have a Tesla put, um, Robinhood call from a long time ago, and uh, the GME down there. That one's been getting rolled a lot because I sold it before all this GameStop craziness happened like a month ago. So I've been trying to roll it so I can get more money out of it at the end. So. If you don't understand that, I can explain it. Just let me know in the comments. And also in the comments, I do uh, options. And a lot of you have been asking uh, if I can make a video on options. I did a few years ago. I'll link it on the first comment. I'll pin it so you guys can see how and what I do with my options. Um, I do basically just, um, I sell uh, cash secured puts. So I have to have the money or covered calls. I have to have the shares of the stock. So I'll put a whole video on there. It's like 18 minutes long. I kind of go into detail of what I'm doing, mostly the wheel strategy. I don't get into the other stuff, which I need to learn. So the, the spreads, I've tried that in the past. So Or buying calls, for me, it seems a little dangerous sometimes on that. So I try to stay safe. This is my safe way of doing options. It's not a lot of money, but I still make positive uh, money on it. So I'm making money. I'll show you guys the details um, if you want to go, I don't know how Robinhood does this with options. I don't know if this is 100% accurate. It's actually probably what it's um, what I'm holding plus what I've made. So I, I don't know how accurate this is, but it's showing a positive number. So I think it's okay. It's good. So we're up 26.28. Um, so in the candle, the the latest one here at the end. That's because of today. This one. I don't know how they, this is probably on what I'm holding, how it's behaving, I guess. So that's options, but I'm going to break down everything real quick um, on the update. So what I'm going to do here is show you guys everything that's been going on in my account for the month of June. So you guys can see what's up. So to be transparent, in the past, I was adding money every week. I've stopped for a few weeks. And I'm going to try to do it with options. Um, since I have margin now, I'm going to try to sell options and, and just earn more money that way. But I'm still going to be adding my own cash. I just haven't in a few weeks. So if you guys are wondering what. So I'm going to show you everything that's happening. Uh, down at the bottom there, if you see Ford, this is for June only, okay? So Ford paid a dividend, seven fifty. dollars then I sold uh, GameStop put. I did an option there. There was a lot. It was 12 contracts. So I used the margin account money for this. So I made 1104. Then um, a few days, was that the same day? 
Did I get out the same day? It looks like it. Okay, I don't even remember that one. So anyway, I exited that position. So it was 11.04 positive, and then I paid 7.32. I keep the difference. Then um, I'm going to keep going. So I sold a an AMC call, made $13. Then Jeppy paid a dividend, 62 bucks. Jeff Q paid another dividend, $16.64. Uh, just ignore the canceled ones. Those are I'm trying to get in or get out. Uh, then I sold another put of GameStop, made 360 right there, and this was 15 contracts, so made 360 bucks. Then Unilever paid a dividend. Microsoft's um, Yield Max ETF paid uh, another dividend, 243. Uh, TSLY paid a dividend, 36.82. I bought a few more TSLY and the reason is to average down. So I'm not trying to pick up too many. I picked up, picked up three, so that's minus 44. Exxon paid a dividend. Then I bought some realty income. One of my favorites bought two shares. So I spent a hundred bucks on that. AGNC paid a dividend. Uh, the GameStop put I sold for 360. I bought it back at 90. So made some profit there, a couple hundred bucks. Then I sold uh, this uh, call at eight, made eight dollars. Robinhood Gold charged me five bucks. Uh, I sold another put for GameStop, made twenty-five bucks, and I sold a Tesla put, made fifty-five bucks. So overall, for the month up to right now, which is the middle of the month, I am up seven thirty-seven and fifty cents plus. Um, I subtracted the shares I purchased. So I own those shares too of TSLY and Realty Income. So actually it's pretty good. So pretty good for the month, 737, not bad. And then these are all the pending uh, dividend payments that are still gonna come in for this month. So let me know if you guys like the update this way where I just go into everything I've been doing um, or do you guys just wanna see dividend income? So I know a lot of you guys love the dividends. I love dividends as well, but I think I'm going to keep adding more shares for dividend payments, but I'm going to be doing a lot more options trading as well to make more money, quicker money, I think. So as you guys can see here, we have cash, 4360, margin, 30,000 available and used 29,000. So that's 59,000 of margin that I have. And um, so if you guys are going to do margin, just be careful. Uh, Robinhood does charge an interest, of course. And the interest rates, let's see here, does it show us? Yeah, C6.75, review the rates, here we are. So less than 50,000, um, you're at 6.75. Your first 1,000 is interest-free if you have Robinhood Gold. Um, if you guys wanna join Robinhood, I do have a link also as well in my description, but no big deal, you guys don't have to do that. So. That's what's going on. Um, hopefully this is a good update. I'll scroll through so you guys can see what I'm holding. Um, I've been trying to clean the account and add companies I like, get rid of the ones I don't like. I'm keeping money in cash because it's paying an interest as well. Um, so this is what's going on. This is what I have right now. I'm also creating a watch list down here. It's called options. So this is what I'm gonna what I'm looking at for options. So we have Palantir, Enphase, Tesla, Apple, Google, Nvidia. So if I see something I like, I'm gonna add it to the list and maybe play some options on it. And most of the time, since I don't own the shares, I'm gonna sell uh, cash secure puts (CSP) with the cash I have. So I was thinking of doing Enphase. If you go to options for next Friday, if we sell a put, there it is, sell put change it to put so you're going to buy it under the price that it is right now since it's declining so let's say we we select we're okay with 120 dollars a share it's going to pay us i'm just going to this is hypothetical okay so if we do one contract right now would pay 135 136 dollars you can always change this too and say i want to do uh, right here 1.4 it's going to cost us about 12 grand out of the margin account to do this. But by next Friday, if Enphase doesn't hit 120 and stays above 120, this expires worthless. 
we get our 12,000 back. Plus we already were paid 140 bucks. Not bad for a week. But if end phase goes under 120, we're buying it at 120. So let's say it goes to 110, you're still at 120. So you're already down. So you have to be very careful when you guys are doing cash secure puts. Um, also, you can exit whenever you want. So if you want to buy it back, let's say it dropped a little bit, you made 50 bucks, you can buy it back and you're out. You get your the $12,000 released. All right, that's just a little, re, uh, little up, I guess, preview of what I do. But I'm going to link the video below of... Uh, showing you guys what I do with my options. It's a little bit longer, like I said. So let me know if you guys like these videos. Uh, if you want to see more options, let me know. I'm still going to show you options and dividend income. So I'm going to keep doing these videos. Keep watching. Um, I still, I'm going to create a, um, like an mailing list or kind of like a newsletter that I told you guys about. I'm still going to do that. I'm going to do it soon. And um, there's no cost to it, just so you guys can see what I'm, you know, thinking or doing or ideas. I'm going to put it in the newsletter. All right, guys, I will talk to you on the next video. Thanks.